back already. But we're not doing music, we're gonna play video games and also we're hanging out with a few friends of mine right at the moment, Icebox and Big Sal. Say hello to the trillions of people watching in the past with time machines. Um hey. I... <laughs> <laughs> See that's the way I think about things, right? Like like so we're I'm streaming right now, probably there's like two people watching, which is you two. Maybe a few more people watch. But at some point in the future people will have the harness to the power of fucking wormholes and shit to create time machines. And when that happens, like time as a consequence, like doesn't really exist anymore. So like basically everything's happening at once and you know, if you have the right technology and ability to manipulate, you know, physics, you can be anywhere, anytime. And and so basically that means everywhere and every time is everywhere and every time all at once. We're just not privy to that, you know, dimension of stepping out of our linear spot, but that's how things really are. So it's kind of interesting in that way. And so I figure that, like, there are people who are listening to and watching this, you know, VOD from, like, millions of years ago, and probably millions of years in the future or whatever, you know? Because, like, to them, it's, like, it's just whenever they, like, everything exists, it's just whenever you get around to it. Right? I don't know. Deep thoughts with Anias. All right, YouTube's Norm McDonald. We're going to start off the show today with a special skit that I wanted to share with my friends. This is Norm McDonald talking about news, and, and that conversation leads to talking about about serial killers. But uh, it's just a story about the news. Here you go.
Okay, hold on. So nobody told me that you guys couldn't hear the, the audio from the jokes. Hello? <laughs> Are you tuned in on Twitch? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tune in on Twitch so that way you can hear this Norm McDonald joke, which I failed to even uh, turn the volume on for the last three minutes. So it's just like an exercise of meditation. But yeah, it's twitch twitch.tv forward slash A N N I A S. It's just a few minutes of your life and you will be entertained greatly. I promise.
That's the story. And then he goes, let's go outside where there's another guy. So then they cut to outside. And then there's a guy outside and he's like, hey, listen, how's it going inside? We're outside and uh, we found out about this lady that vanished. Her name was Janice. And uh, they found her car here in the Taco Bell parking lot. And uh, don't worry about the car, it's fine. But uh, can't find hiding her hair of the lady. Well, back to you. So, so then you're watching, you go, well, I don't give a fuck on account I never knew Janice in the first place. Matter of fact, I'm kind of happy it's Janice and not somebody I know. But then what they do is they start telling you about Janice, you know? And they go, hey, we got found out some cool things about Janice. And you're like, no, that's cool. I don't want to hear it. They go, no, no, you want to hear it. <laughs> they can't help themselves. So they go, let's go back to Bill. He's, uh, he's uh, still outside. And uh, how's it going, Bill? And Bill's like, it's all right. It's no inside, but it's cool. And uh, <laughs> anyways, we found out about Janice. Turns out she's a good lady. And uh, we found some friends of hers, and here they are. And then, sure enough, they show a lady, and it says, friend of Janice. And uh, she says, I'll tell you something about Janice. You want to hear about Janice? Janice is a type of lady that you could always turn to. You know, you ever want to turn to somebody? Like, if you got a problem or something, and you, you, know, you, know, you feel like you want to turn? <laughs> you ever do that? Or maybe your neck just hurts, and you want to anyways. The point of it is that once you had swiveled your head over this way, the person you'd most want to see in your eye line would be Janice. <laughs> and then they have Jan another friend of Janice that wasn't the first one. And she'll go, I'll tell you, Janice, oh my God. She was the type of lady that she could walk into a room and light up the whole room, you know? And she didn't have a fucking light or nothing like that. She would <laughs> just somehow through sheer tyranny of will, she could somehow <laughs> illuminate a room. I don't know. And that'd be Janice's third friend lady that's not one of the earlier two. And then she goes, I'll tell you about Janice. Is that who you're asking about, Janice? <laughs> Janice was the type of lady that you could be talking to your best friend in a whole world. And then Janice come in and you go, fuck you, I'm talking to Janice. Because <laughs> Janice is better than you. Come on, let's face it. She's better than all of us. So anyways, then you're at home and you start liking Janice, you know what I mean? You start getting invested in her, you go, God damn, that Janice is cool lady. I would, I would like to meet her one day. That would be a lot of, fuck, I forgot she vanished. <laughs> ah, just my luck. <laughs> They'll find her. Then you get hope. That's not good. I don't give a fuck what Obama says. Hope is never good. <laughs> don't try it. it. Never works out. So you go, you go, oh man, they'll find Janice. They're putting pictures up of her on telephone poles. I think that had worked once. And, <laughs> and then the news keeps showing you more things about Janice, you know? And they'll show you like the video, home videos of her. You're like, God damn, look at that. She's eating a pizza. I like her hair like that. <laughs> They'll find her. And then you become obsessed with Janice. It's all you can think of, you know? You're at work, fucking just can't wait to get home, agonizing over Janice, you know, and thinking about her with eating pizza and shit. And then you go home, and your nights are just uh, fevered dreams of, you know, Janice and bangs and shit like that. And, and you, all you can do is turn on the TV and hope and, you know, and then one day, you know, they go, hey, more news on Janice. There's the Bill. He's still outside. And then Bill is like outside and he's like, here we are. Uh, where, as you can see behind me, they are scouring the woods. They're still searching for Janice, you know, and then you go, oh, fuck, not the woods. You know, that's not, <laughs> nothing good ever happens in the woods. <laughs> I've seen enough of these fucking stories to know. 
that Janice ain't coming bounding out of the woods anytime soon. That's it. She's like, hey, what's going on, everybody? I, I'm just taking a stroll through the woods. What are you taking my picture for? I was just... just I just take a stroll through the scraggly woods. No, if they find you in the woods, they always find you in the same place. Every time, they will find you in a uh, shallow grave. <laughs> I don't know why they don't just look there in the first place. But... That's... If I was the police chief, I'd go, listen, I want every shallow grave in the vicinity checked out. I want to clear out this case by Tuesday on account of... I'm running for DA or whatever. <laughs> but, uh... I, well, he stopped right there at the, uh... at one of the best parts, which you might want to mute the stream so you don't have to hear me twice now. But, or your own voice. Uh, but you might want to keep the stream up because you're going to want to see Children of Morta. Nevertheless, uh, he stopped at the best part there because after they go over that, he's like, um, you know, I never understood that about serial killers, you know, like they do all this work, you know, this hard work to like set up the situation and kill the person. And then like, the, right, they, like, like they do all this meticulous stuff and then right at the end, you know, a little hasty with a shallow grave. He's like, if I was ever going to kill somebody and take them to the woods and bury him. I'd bury him in a, a very, 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 very deep grave. <laughs> anyway. Hope you enjoyed that little story about Janice. I did. Oh, fuck. Give me just a second, family, while I get my band set up. It's really hot right now in the area where I'm at, and it's not that enjoyable. Be real with you. Also, let's uh, switch this shit over to... Uh, maybe I gotta move this over here for the access to the, the window. Hold on. Let me just move everything over there, actually. This is where we're going to be playing this game. It's kind of a exact opposite of my DJing setup. <laughs> and then... Turn that up, and then... Oh, shit, well... I guess I got a... I guess I gotta move it into um, uh, windowed mode for a second. Yeah, but I don't want to start the game yet. Hold on. Now you guys won't be able to see the story and shit. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. Well, we're skipping this and we're going to see if we can do it again. I just wanted to switch over to windowed mode. John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. I'm skipping all this shit so that I can set it up for you guys. Sorry, give me a second. There we go. Options, 
graphics. Exclusive full screen window. There we go. There we go. Now it should be on the list, I think. There it is. Now I wonder if I take it out of windowed mode now, if it will um, still have a game capture on the game capture hall. Yeah, let's just do it that way. still be able to hear you. I am going to turn you down just a little bit, Ice Fox, because your birds triggered the microphone a little bit. Oh. Sorry. I, no, I, I love your birds. Don't don't apologize. They're amazing. I'm just going to... Well, they're actually, it's actually pretty cute. My, my viewers might like them as much as I do. They're just a little loud. Also, I, it's not it's not you. I, I have your volume at like 180% so I can hear you over my music and shit. Yeah, they're just a bit loud right now. You're fine. So so they're happy. You're, yeah, you're fine. I'm happy they're happy. You know what I'm saying? I love you, birds. Alright. Let's see if we can get it to do the whole intro again. <clears throat> Alright. Tune in if you'd like to see the, the story and kind of see what it's about. See so maybe the first level. No one to Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Oh, up there. I just wanted to remove that thing. The Anias text. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet room. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother, 
came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Forgotten, a place is. of unimaginable beauty. It has little places like this all through it where it like zooms out like this and gives you that like really pretty view. Kind of cool. That's like a save point or something. I think. Not sure. Attack. I'm just looking X, Y, left button, special ability, A is evade, right button is divine relic, right trigger, interact, rage, use charm, teleport, damn dude this is a lot of stuff, wow. Uh, coordinates it first appeared as sludge given life, slithering creatures, small and vile. Uh, oh, it's pausing for a second to show me. See, we are on Twitch, just a heads up. Stay 
Oh, oh, it's not hit to it. Somebody else. Hold up. Who is that? It's Joker. Welcome. Hey, what's up? Uh, oh, there's something in my way. Hey, what's up, Joker? Yeah, we're on we're on Twitch, so your your voice is on there. Normally, I ask people for permission, but you just showed up. So, what's up, man? It's all good. Just don't talk about the dead bodies and stuff, you know. I honestly came to see what you're playing if that's what you mean, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, whatever you're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about in general, so you're right, I don't know nothing. The dead bodies, don't talk about them. Wait, am I going backwards? I just... I think I'm going backwards. I was, if I remember correctly, I remember you, Anias. I was here a while ago. I think Hits invited me. Quite possible. I can't remember what direction I just came from. Oh, okay, I did come from here because I ran through that. Okay. I see well, welcome back, Joker. We're all just chilling. This is my friend Icebox, and also Big Sal, and Hits is AFK right now. I'm playing Children of Morta, Icebox playing Boulder's Gate 2. A war impeding uh, further progress. A battle was certain. Arc free? Arc. Yeah, yeah, it's free on, uh, what, like on the Epic Store or something, Sal? Steam. Steam, there you go. <laughs> I wish, my, I wish it didn't de desync so bad, man. I lost, I lost my damn fish. I lost my megalodon. Cause the damn game DC desynced. Ugh. The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. Okay. Okay. What do you play again, Anias? Um, it's called Children of Morta. It's a action RPG that's got like a nice story with the whole family. You play as each of the different family members, different parts of the game. And I guess there's like a meta progression that affects all of them as well. Uh, it also has online, it has a couple DLCs, the second of which goes completely to the Humane Society. It's called the, the Claws and Paws uh, DLC. And then uh, it supports local and online co-op as well, so it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, you, before you him see, was now on, one uh, more dangerous than those that came before. Ooh, baby. What do I gotta do? Press start to open the skill tree. Is it select? Ah, oh, select. Okay. Gain a point when you gain enough XP. Spend a point to learn new skills. Heaven strike. Call swords down from the heavens upon John's enemies. This is the Y button, level one. What if I don't? I hate no. I hate when games do that. When like, if you have a couple different skills you can start off with, they force you during the tutorial to pick the first one. I get it. That's fine. I just kind of just let me pick which one I want. You know? Okay though. Well, something I asked Hits about earlier. I was curious if anybody else did any more at all. At that matter. Is that, do they play, buddy, play Warframe anymore, or is that kind of a um, thing? The, the, definitely uh, Hitsu and uh, um, what the one guy plays it all the time. He, he said something this morning. His name's uh, Red Hammer.
What's his name? So yeah, Red Hammer. Hammer. He's on a. Uh, he's on PlayStation though. He plays fucking all the time though. That's his favorite game for sure. Yeah, I put a decent now, bit of time into the game. Also, uh, goblins. Another a familiar line, threat, albeit farther out than tangle. usual. Um, and he might still play because, like, that was such a huge part of his life. Let me see. Let me tag him real quick for you. Well, I left alone for quite a while because I just did so much and as I eventually started mining stuff. And after you mine stuff for a while, it kind of gets old, in my opinion. So I let it look. I let it go for a while. But I decided to come back and see how much is what's changed, what's different, how it still works. Supposedly, a not a ton, but a lot has changed. From what I understand, from what the people I was able to contact tell me. About uh, Warframe. Yeah, Warframe. Yeah, I, w I was trying to get back into it, but I played on PlayStation. I'm not trying to restart on it, honestly. <clears throat> I know they did change a lot. They made it. A, they made things a lot easier if you've played before and know how like annoying some stuff was to get. Mm. They, made, they surely made it a whole lot easier. He One is thing online I saw right now. Japan, that was new. Is there some type of elite enemies now? Yeah, I don't I have no clue. I haven't got that into it. I just know they talk about it, but I don't really don't pay no attention to it. Hello. Here, I'm going to create... The, it's like some kooky enemy with a... The only difference is that it like literally can directly attack your health with some special ability. It has like a mega shield that like takes like a ton yeah, of damage. Yeah, Joker. Do me a favor and accept what? my friend request so I can start a group message with you. Oh, on Discord or on? Yeah, on Discord. Okay, now how, like, I've never had a heck to do that. Don't be fooled. Um, you more. click on the top left where you see all your friends' chats and whatnot, and there's a, a button I called use, Friends at I the use top. Phone. I used the phone. For oh this. shit! I don't know. Well, same thing though. I think, I think I you think click on the. All you do is hit my little person icon, and I just have to hit the little check mark next to your name, right? I think so. Let's see. Either that or send me a friend's request, and I'll accept it. No, it works. There, there you go. are. There you are. So here, I'm gonna do this. Look. Send a uh, no no. Oh shit. What'd I do? Uh, well, uh, weird. Can't I do it's this? Better. Well, his account has, like, been changed. I don't know if he's still got control of it, but. Well, I'll just do this. Whose account's been changed, did I ask? My buddy, Letty Yard. Here, I invited him here. He's in here. Letty Yard. Please me. I can't hear you anymore. Joker. Uh, he is an avid Warframe. I was thinking I would be able to sign Yeah, Quantum Entanglement, I guess, was like one of the biggest, craziest, it was like a clan of clans, you know, and, uh... Oh, like, top was, tier level stuff you're saying? Yeah, like, it was a, it was a, it was a clan of clans, like, Quantum Entanglement, like... Really? Yeah, it had, like, a bunch of fucking clans inside of that clan, it was a big, 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 uh, Warframe clan, probably oh. the biggest. And I think he ran that shit for a couple of years. One of my really good, he's like one of my best friends from, remember that group I was telling you about south called the friend zone? Yeah. Yeah, Lady Arch from the friend zone. On the OG friend zone family. If I may, Anias, without trying to sound rude done, uh, why do you want a friend me? I just got back. I was going to add you to a message with <laughs> Lady Arch, but now that I'm not going to do that, you're free to remove me from your friends list. There's something you put in the no mic section that says at let I don't know how to pronounce his name, your friend I'm assuming. Please meet me. 
He is an avid Warframer, and I was yeah, thinking either you or son of your QE could. That's what I just said. Yeah. Really well, it's in the mic chat, though, is what I'm saying. I mean, it doesn't really matter where it is, just the thing, right? He was just trying to get you to. He was just introduce you to uh, one of his friends, so they can like talk to you about what happened with Warframe, because we don't really. Magnificent, but dangerous, a land of love found, of love lost. The only thing I remember is Lynch's. That's about it. Yeah, I wasn't even here for that. Yeah, what a green shot, so I can get a fucking picture. Did you play Warframe at all, Nias? I played it when it first came out, like many, many, many years ago, for about like a month, and then I stopped. Oh, yeah, okay, so no. sounds like neither one of you know too much about, like, even, like, a little while ago. I'm stuff that completely ignorant. Which is why I'm very like crazy. It's gotten, like, crazy more complex than when I used to play it, you know? It's a little simple back there. I just. I'm so, like, intoxicated right now, I can't remember where the fuck is. Inherently violent and ill-bathed, the goblins were an unfocused, a constant threat. That's pretty... not too new was the liches. Did you want to know anything about the liches? No. Yeah, I've been I, off. I haven't played the game since it came out, so I was trying to think. Oh, well, I didn't know how new it was. I knew that somebody said it was like a tad bit new, but not terribly new. This was like a year or two ago, I think. I've been off for like three years. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I just okay. Sorry, I'm just re relearning this game. I haven't played it since uh, a while as well. I had an illegitimate version of it that wasn't up to date, so. Before him was sacred ground, left untouched in days gone by. His heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter, with bow and quiver at the ready, determined to do her part. Guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming, destroying others. They corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. Oh, 
spawn forever or we're supposed to just move through it. Uh, I guess we could sit here and spawn for the three. daughter gathered their thoughts, their hearts heavier than before. How would they explain what they had witnessed? Now obviously Icebox, you're not going to get a good idea of like the full picture of the game and all the possibilities and capabilities by the first The round. ancient tree had been cut down. Together, father and daughter described the horror. Creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption. A cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. And the Bergson's duty yeah. was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was also eager to do his part in the Does family's fight, use what, especially what when oh, his older a, brother was off There's somewhere. He was going on. as much a guardian of their mountain home as okay. any of them. Even though. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the Sanctuary. Ooh, the Sanctuary. Let's fucking go. Whoa. Okay. That just got a lot cooler. Whoa. Hell yeah. Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open yep. the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. All righty then. Whoa. Just my control. By himself, so cool. with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. All right, cool. I can talk. I can talk to you now, Joker. I had all of the rest of the game sounds turned down except for the narrator, and I just couldn't hear you. But you were asking me about what some server, or something. This server, I know mm -hmm. it used to be used quite frequently back then. It seemed like last like week. I've been checking up on it to see how frequently it's used. You're like the only guy that ever seen it on here for like last week. Mm, no, you must just be looking when when I'm connected. But it's mostly Hitsu and Gamadorn, Big Sal. I try to be here. Ice Fox has been here every day. Um, there's, you know, uh, Wicked Hugs and Nick and, uh, there's a bunch of people that roll through. Everybody just kind of rolls through their time and sometimes, uh, Hitsu, which is pretty much more or less the nucleus, you know, he's got two young boys and a wife, so, you know, he, he sometimes is doing family stuff, you know? Okay, yep. No, just, uh, like you said, I don't, I might be looking like every single second of the day, so I was, I look like a couple times a day, I don't really see. Maybe you'll have to see that most commonly. Ooh. Sal, you, and Icebox, and Hitsu, of course. Well, I mean, there's... I don't even know how many hundreds of people, but, you know, everybody's kind of doing their own thing most of the time. Okay, well, I just want to make sure it's to use as frequently as it used to be. That's all. I was out here, like, I don't know, over 100 days ago. Like, or 200 days ago, something like that. I haven't been for a while, that's all I know. Welcome back. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Nice. So let's go into the first chapter here, then. 
Holes of Anaya must be here, or she needs to be found. Is a guy named Mondo, I think, is how you pronounce his name? Yeah, Mondo still Mondo. shows. They were, yeah, uh, he was real heavy. He was here every day for almost a month or month and a half playing a lot of V Rising with the boys and whatnot. They do have their own custom V Rising server up now, and they probably have their own Arc server up, I think, too. Yeah, we got, uh, we got Arc up. Yeah. Well, I met on Warbreak, I know he used to play it quite a bit, like about the 100 or so, 100 games ago I, I left. Before I left, he played it quite a bit, and he's got. It's an interesting people invite me to the server. Yeah. The server I'm talking about the one right now. Ooh. This is cool. Yeah, this. So now we can even see. I mean, I, like, or like, well, I can't speak for everyone, but ever like, <clears throat> a decent bit of the people like to like they they, whenever they get into like a new game, they're all over it. They're on mm -hmm. every single day, and then like, you know, give it here or there depending on how long they're really invested in it they'll be on it every single day and then they'll give it a long break so you won't really see them on as much um because they're just trying to like you know get off uh they're really trying to get on like a different game because they, they've been farming grinding on that game so much and they just get burnt out so yeah it's big weapon to me yeah like, that's did... that's my value you probably don't know what i'm talking about but i did so many liches and sisters it's just it... I did like over 20 each. That literally made you know I mean, like I did like 10 each or something like that, or five, like seven or five. But sisters are like at least 10 for the, the liches. I I, I feel mm. like 20 in total. I'm not sure. I saw I did so enough that I got sick of it. Maybe because, to put it simply, it's kind of like a special boss that can only appear if you take out his minions throughout the levels, like specific claimed area levels. Like, like for instance, say it's Earth that he claims. He oh, this is cool. Not a thing. Okay. He played the planet in certain like levels that you oh, you whoa. played back then. He now has like a, I got way increased compared to what they used to be. Like uh, for instance, like a level one through three, the very first match you ever played, like, experiment one through three, is now like level sixty-five to seventy-five. That's cool. I was I know I heard hitting them talk about liches, I'm not 100% how they are, but apparently they took like certain weapons, the Zar weapons or something, shard and then you can earn them through, directly from the ancient that? crystal in the sanctuary. Basically, it would be the person's lifeline, tethered to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. After you activate the lich by doing that, they come into the world, and what, they hover like... You can see like over their head before you can execute them. You can have it like option to execute them in the game, like as, in their first form before they turn into a lich. They have a weapon symbol over head. If you want that specific weapon they're offering you, you you execute them. It says mercy, on, but it's execution. Fucking liches, lich. man. Then they turn into the lich, and basically like, do this battle the around. Do eventually make them pop out like they're like little like the allies. And then they make them pop out. The worst part in the game, I think, is still the same. There's a three piece Linda code you have to get, but they don't cover the exact order it is. Is she ready to go? You have to get that all the spirit deep within the caves. Oh. I remember them talking to them about it. No, my bad. I was just saying, I remember them talking about having to acquire three of something. But. <clears throat> just doing a safety yeah. meeting real quick. Three, uh, you, uh, encounter him, get the code right, take off in a uh, special spaceship kind of mission where you drive like, a special ship or something like that. You have to go to their ship and then you have to finally finish them off the last time and then pull the uh, full on, either execute them or you can even make it work for you afterward. What is that? I think it's not working anyway. I don't remember, I've been off long enough, I don't remember if that oh. commanding work. I think if you execute them, you get their weapon. Huh? What the fuck and, is that? Uh, they work for you with the weapon you see in the game. I'm mainly just trying to I'm waiting on that game until they bring out cross play. Or right, cross save, really. I thought my mother actually had cross save or cross play as Jack. They've done so many other updates. I, don't, I, don't I got a dodge there, that was good. They need to. Yo, what's up, Itsu? Yeah. 
I don't know. Gaming. No, he's gaming dad or whatever. There's a guy named. Game, yeah, maybe he is. I don't know. What the hell is this thing? I don't even know what this is. Can't interact with it. It's just weird. What was that? Oh god, that hurt. Attacking somebody that could try to explain the updates to like stop me. Like, play the yeah, game, uh, like, they're not, they're AFK right now, but you can see their name, you can click on their name and, and talk to them if you so choose. I only saw the one in the quick one you put in the notebook. His name is Lettyard, yes, his name is Lettyard, you can click on his name and send him a friend request if you'd like to talk to him. Alright, I'll try that. I don't think he's there right now, but, uh, you can try. Oh shit, I got him. 11 health. Oh yeah, and that just murdered everything. Oh, that was fucking good. That was right there. Do whatever you like, brother. Damn, dude, I wasted so much time in this game. I never upgraded to freaking metal, metal harvesting equipment. <laughs> I wasted so much time, it's a huge difference. Uh, I wish I knew this before. I don't know, I'll just save the point until I get to the next level and then add, add it up a little bit. And begin oh. to slip away. And then it pulls me back because I died. Death was warmer than they expected. No, this is expected because you're kind of a weak as fuck, you know, when you first start the game and you've got to uh, grind and get a little stronger and grind and get a little stronger. They gasped for air as the celestial yeah, yeah. shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. That's fine. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness, and no longer were they part of the harmony, the Rhea. 
With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He would have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons and armor. Mm-hmm. Now there's a, a workshop where we can spend the money to upgrade. Yep. That's what I figured. Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar warmth of the forge. If they were to reach the top of Mount oh, Water, hell yeah. their equipment we go. We have would be of the highest quality. Armor up. Good, good, good. Lost to 100, but... Increase the base attack damage. Increase the critical chance. Critical hit. Decrease was increase rage. Increase dodge. Increase movement speed. Cool. And what is this book of Ray? I see. Oh, no. All right. When light faded from the sky and most were fast asleep, Mary would write about her okay. family. Immortalizing them for future generations. How are you, Astro? I'm good. How are you? Good. 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 Side? I'm just looking at this um, this place I've never eaten at before. I was thinking about ordering some dinner. They have a class and chicken, classic chicken sandwich, and it says, I see the picture. It's two pieces of bread and a chicken breast with some breading on it and some pickles, and it literally says, buttermilk fried all natural chicken breast, dill pickles, toasted buttered bun, but it's $9.49 for a chicken sandwich. This better be the best chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Does anybody know what the fuck Duke's Mayo is? Uh, no. It sounds like a sexual innuendo. Duke's Mayonnaise is... Oh, it's just, it's just like Hellman's or something. It's just like a brand. Let's see. All right. Let's do Duke's Mayo, and that's gonna be it for that. What else do they got? They got breaded seasoned waffle fries. That sounds kind of good. We get some ketchup. I, I love the night. Now the. The Buxton original sandwich is fried chicken breast, pimento and American cheese, and dill pickles on toasted. I don't know how I feel about all that. Pimento and American cheese on the chicken sandwich? And how does that make you guys feel? I don't know, I haven't tried it. <laughs> you in there? Yo, thank you for the subscription, Twinkle122. Awful kind of, yeah. We're not doing music at the moment, Twinkle. I'm just playing a game called Children of Morta and ordering some dinner. I don't know. This place doesn't seem to have, like, a big selection. It's literally got some chicken sandwiches and some fries. And that's it. And it, the chicken sandwich doesn't look that, that good. <laughs> I think we're going to remove it from the thing and we're just going to order, like, something we, we know is good. Oh, what, what did you have tonight, Ice Fox? Uh, what was it? I think it was... I don't know if it was pork or beef. Okay. Well, what, 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 in what manner, in what manner was this pork or beef prepared? Uh, 
Not the grill, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, so far I've isolated your dinner down to being either not grilled pork or beef. Um, it was... <laughs> was it served with anything else? What sides did you have? Uh, potatoes. Mashed potatoes or scallop or fried? Boiled? Scalloped, okay. There you go. Now we're getting to the heart of it. Any vegetables? Uh, green beans. So, it just so happens that my favorite meal of all time, like if I was gonna, if I knew I was gonna die the next day and I wanted to have my my favorite meal of all time, it's simply, like, very, very straightforward. It's steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans. That's it. Like sir sirloin steak. Mashed potatoes, green beans, maybe a little bit of butter and pepper for the potatoes, and a little bit of. I think it might have been a sirloin steak. It was very. Oh. So sirloin steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans is my favorite meal of, on earth. A little bit of butter and black pepper on the potatoes, a little bit of butter and salt on the green beans, and maybe some sautéed mushrooms on the steak if you really want to get fancy, right? That's the best meal in the world. It's it's so good. I don't have a favorite because I like too much. Stuff. You like, yeah, yeah. I, well, I said something about a favorite song, or, or you know, one of my favorite songs, and you're like, I love everything. <laughs> no, that's cool though. I mean, it's not. It's all right. Like, it's really hard I'm to say. Hurt. I'm gonna hurt. You. <laughs> For some people, it's really difficult to say. Such and I such will, is my favorite such and I such. Will, you know what I mean? I will, I will punch you if I see one of you. I will chair. love you. I will <laughs> love you harder and harder. <laughs> I'm going to love you so hard. I will punch you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's see. 